Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Madiki Obianuju and you're very welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about a topic that is not quite popular and it is forgetting your dreams. Yes, I was a victim and I am here to tell you my testimony and also ways that you can, you know, remember your dream and not, you know, be part of the squad that has forgotten their dreams and everything they ever wanted to do in the world. So let's start with a little bit of story time. When I was a little girl, I was crazy about being a VJ for MTV Base. Like, anytime the MTV Base would come on, I would be like, hello and welcome back. Like, do you understand? Like, I was like all over the place like i really wanted to do it but when i was in lagos there was no one to take me for the audition and i think i was also quite young <laughs> to be honest but i started early to see myself as a presenter a vj you know i really like i would memorize everything and all of a sudden i entered school i finished i got my degree then i was in a youtube event yes it's actually crazy so i met ilo with the flow he is ilo with the flow amazing guy he's dating a very beautiful lady and so he was as so i was like oh my god like i think this is this is a sign he was no actually how he started was like we were talking you know because i won like this gift pack from you know youtube it's in the vlog go watch that video so um he mentioned something about they are actually looking for people i don't know he brought it up first actually then i now remember i was not like wow i like i actually had a dream to be a vj i was i was actually shocked like he reminded me of my dream because i have forgotten like legit i have actually forgotten that i always wanted to be a vj which is actually like crazy because this is something i really wanted when i was young i would make videos on our phone you know it's terrible quality and i was ready to send it to mtv base but i never did i never go past that that wall of self-doubt and worry and not having anybody which is quite crazy but right now i am going after my dreams anything that i desire and i see myself providing value to people and it's not just a selfish reason i always go through with my plans because why not there is nothing else to do apart from follow your dreams i feel like our lives equals our dreams like if you don't do it then you're not living your life and i also have this crazy concept actually i discussed with my friend and he told me that i'm wrong but I had this concept that if you're living a dream, a life that is not yours, you're actually stealing someone's dream life. Do you understand? So if you're living that person's dream life, that means someone else is living your own dream life. So you have to like, you know, move from that lane to the other lane <laughs> to go and live your dream life. Like, why are you doing this to yourself? Live your own life. There are so many people out here that are not living their dream life and this video is made for you. I just want to tell you that you need to remember what you dreamt of, your childhood self. Remember all those things that you say, oh, when I grow up, yes, you can still be that. Don't let what Nigeria is telling because Nigeria is a place that kills dreams. I'm not even going to lie. I've heard this so many times and it's true. Nigeria kills young people's dream. But I want to tell you that you can still do it just wake up you need to wake up you legit need to wake up like that's what you need to do right now you need to tap yourself on the back and say what am i doing whose life am i chasing you know also so a close friend of mine posted something on her status about this because sometimes you just see yourself chasing so many things remind yourself okay the number one thing would be remember you know why remember your childhood dreams also i have another story time which is recently i am on a path to following i was on a path <laughs> to following a life that wasn't designed for me i don't want to say too much right now maybe when things work out but um i was on a path that wasn't mine so after reading this book do it no do epic shit sorry I hope I don't get censored by YouTube. <laughs> by Wanko Anko. I'm putting the book up here. That's why I'm, I'm picking up my hand. This book 
is so good it's so good and he said something about when everybody's going in that direction that's a sign for you to not follow that direction especially if that's not the life that you want for yourself do you understand so it made me think about where i was in life and what was i actually doing because sometimes you're just you're just on autopilot or you're just living your parents dream life and our parents are actually quite tricky yeah i would say mine are <laughs> they just like they are using you <laughs> this is quite a funny word it's not like they are using you they are they are trying their best to make you something so in the sense they are trying to mold you into their dream person forgetting that you also have your own dreams do you understand but this is where you come in and you remember your life you remember that this is your life you have one to live <laughs> oh my god you have one to live it's remaining like 55 days for 2022 to finish i would say this is the this is the only year that i have been more determined like so i would say this year is it's really the year that i took focus on myself and i achieved everything that i i ever wanted to achieve i focused on what brings me happiness and i never regretted it for once so i hope these tips brought value to you i tried in as much to share my own story and share tips to clarify remember your dreams remember your childhood dreams what you said when you were a child i know you might not remember but just try chase what brings you happiness regardless because that would bring you to joy for the rest of your life in your youth chase what brings you happiness and also yeah there's another one i'm forgetting but it's in the <laughs> in the video and i hope you picked up from that i am so happy to share these tips and i hope that they bring so much value to you i will continue to share my own life experiences and anything that i know is going to bring value to you on my channel i also recommend reading do a big shit by anko wanku because it really made me bring my life into perspective and remember my dreams and goals because he really he talked about his failures and how they changed the way he sees life which is so beautiful because sometimes failure is seen as a very bad thing especially here in nigeria to be honest it's not nice for your best trait to be failure but he changed the way i see failure as a human too and which is a very beautiful thing because when you read a book you expect it to change the way you see life and that's exactly what it did to me so i'm really happy to share it with you help you read it and if you don't i'm going to share my tips for you on my channel so you're going to get it to video form content i love you and thank you for coming to my channel today i hope you left it so much value or at least some value uh have a beautiful day remember to like subscribe to our channel so we can grow and grow together i love you and have a beautiful day mm -hmm.